I'm Dr. Diane Ondieki. I'm a consultant obstetrician gynecologist. I'm also a lecturer at the University of Nairobi School of Medicine, a Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. I'm involved in both public and private practice. Public, I'm based at the Kenyatta National Hospital, which is the largest referral hospital in Kenya, and also private practice here at Trinity Productive Center, where I offer fertility services to my private patients. I did the postgraduate diploma in sexual and reproductive medicine under the Mark Foundation, more than a mother program. So this postgraduate diploma in sexual and reproductive medicine was actually very satisfying. I've never done another program like this one. The tutors were very interactive, always there to post questions, to address the feedback that uh, the students were giving. And I learned a lot on aspects of human sexuality and also on aspects of uh, fertility treatment. When it comes to human sexuality, there is both the male and the female factor. So I'd only done it on an introductory basis, but with this course I was able to go deeper and was able to learn a lot of the male, uh, male sexual disorders, the female sexual disorders, how to treat them and manage all of them. When it comes to fertility treatment, I learned about the basics, the embryology, the anatomy, the physiology, also the various conditions, how to be able to diagnose them, how to be able to treat them, the various ov ovulation stimulation protocols, how to handle complications, and also advanced treatments such as uh, the PGD, which is a pre-genetic diagnosis. So infertility is one of the distressing issues that most of the Kenyan women face. Worldwide, more than 50 to 80 million couples suffer from infertility. When it comes to the global prevalence rate, that stands at 8%. When you come to Sub-Saharan Africa, the range is as high as 20 to 40% because a lot of families are affected by this problem. And when you come to Kenya, which falls under Sub-Saharan Africa, the prevalence is 11.9%. So after my training in sexual and reproductive medicine, I've been able to join the faculty at the University of Nairobi of fertility specialists offering this care to patients. And I've been able to pass the knowledge to my undergraduate students and also to the postgraduate students. It's actually quite fulfilling to see them getting fascinated and actually the topics that were previously considered to be very difficult being demystified and people actually acknowledging that these issues can be handled and they can be treated. When it comes to the Kenyatta National Hospital, I've also been co-opted into the fertility team and we run our fertility clinic on Mondays and I've, I've actually been able to put these treatments into practice and I'm actually able to offer this care to patients. The most fulfilling thing is Kenyatta is about to start the first IVF lab in a public hospital and I'm going to be part of this team offering care to patients with the knowledge I learned from this program. When it comes to fertility treatment, I could only offer it up to a certain extent, mostly the surgical procedures that we do at the Kenyatta National Hospital and also in the private care setting. But now with this program, I'm actually able to offer IVF, which is in vitro fertilization, and also other assisted reproductive techniques, especially those that affect the male partner. And now I'm able to do procedures such as ICSI, where a sperm is actually injected into an egg and a couple is able to conceive. As recently as last week, I did a procedure. Suddenly for the woman, I was able to get one egg. For the man through TESA, I was able to get one sperm and we were able to get one embryo, which was transferred on day three. So you can imagine the successes that come out of this practice. It's actually quite fulfilling to see a couple that for sure they would not have gotten a chance to be able to get a baby. Now having that sign of hope, that possibly they could become parents. So it's actually quite fulfilling to be able to do this and to be able to give people hope that they can become parents. The other thing that I've been able to do, I've been able to be part of teams that organize workshops and symposiums where we are able to have this uh, topic discussed at a much deeper level. And to other consultants who are not necessarily fertility specialists, we are able to equip them with the knowledge that these issues, these conditions can actually be treated and we have the capability here locally to be able to, to treat these conditions. So I'm, I can actually acknowledge very well that I've been part of teams that actually uh, train my fellow colleagues in the country on aspects of infertility. Seeing that I learned a lot from this uh, program, Sexual and Productive Medicine at the University of South Wales 
the Mark Foundation More Than a Mother program, I would highly recommend it to my fellow colleagues because I was able to learn what I actually need to be able to assist patients with infertility problems. There's, a still, the, uh, there's still a lot that needs to be done. Uh, patients are suffering. Um, sadly, even when a couple is able to conceive, women are not really considered woman enough because you are assisted to get conception. But unless you talk about, about your story, people will just be happy that you're able to get a baby. And that's what really matters to most couples. So definitely to be able to, to reduce on this burden that I just spoke about of 11.9% of couples in the country being affected, I would definitely encourage it to other people so that we have a critical number of specialists in the country who are, who are able to assist uh, women with this problem. I would definitely want to thank the Mark Foundation. Um, I do not take it for granted that I was part of the few people who were selected to be able to do this course. I'm greatly appreciative of the support of the sponsorship that I got and it's actually bearing fruits now. So thank you Mark Foundation. Thank you very much for the support.